Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing an update video on my comparison between um, wheatgrass gargling and coconut oil pulling. So my comparison between the wheatgrass gargling and the coconut oil pulling. Um, I decided to do this update video because it's been um, several months um, have passed since I've been using um, the wheatgrass gargling. Um, so, and I had a few questions, so I really wanted to update um, everyone on with, you know, some more information and um, some things that might benefit um, someone else. First of all, um, Let's go over what the two are, because not everyone may be familiar um, if you didn't um, check out the first video. Um, so the wheat grass gargling is pretty much um, using wheat grass, which I have here. Um, I have it ready for you guys. Hold on. So. Um, Have the wheatgrass here so this is my wheatgrass that I've been using um, and what I've been doing with it is pretty much um, I'll pour take a spoonful a tablespoonful very small now and I'll place it in um, I usually put it in spring water you can put it in distilled water um, I wouldn't recommend putting it in regular tap water uh, because you know there's things in there that you might not want to use because it's going to be used to pull um, the toxins from your your mouth so you mix it in and you, you'll drink it and you won't you'll gargle it in your mouth you swish it around your mouth um, it's pretty different it's a little bit different than you would with the coconut oil um, coconut oil, you'll swish it around your mouth, you kind of just gargle the wheatgrass. And what's happening when you place it in your mouth, it's pulling in all the toxins um, from your mouth and it, it'll, it'll pull it in from even further than in your mouth depending on how long the duration that you have um, that you're gargling with the wheatgrass. Okay. Um, and so that's that and I really enjoy doing that it's been very beneficial it leaves your mouth feeling very very clean and it removes the bacteria the other um, thing you can use to remove um, these toxins from your mouth is um, coconut oil or oil pulling there's different oils you can use. I've selected coconut oil in, in my case to do the oil pulling. They're, you're accomplishing the same um, task pretty much by using the coconut oil um, as you would with the wheatgrass. So I would say do either or. There are some people that can't tolerate the wheatgrass that are have some kind of allergies to the wheatgrass. So then um, you use the oil pulling, and I have some like, coconut oil. This is the oil, coconut oil I've been using. Um, to so what I do with the coconut oil is I would take a scoop, a spoonful, and put it in my mouth, and I swoosh it around, making sure you get to all the areas of your teeth. And you swished around for about 20 minutes. And um, I would not recommend spitting it out in your sink because there have been issues. Um, some people reported issues with um, having clogs because of this. So you won't want to spit it out into the sink. I recommend spitting it into a paper towel or something like that, throwing it out. That way, it will alleviate any issues that you might have um, with your plumbing, no clogs. 
So the setbacks, there are setbacks to the oil pulling versus the wheatgrass pulling. Um, first of all, the wheatgrass is, it cleans your mouth a lot. Um, I wouldn't say better, it cleans, it's a lot stronger. It, it pulls toxins a lot better than coconut oil. I use coconut oil or, you know, avocado oil or something like that with, with oil pulling. You can go back and check out my previous video where I do a, um, a comparison of the two. Now the reason I really wanted to do this update video is because I received a lot of questions on whether or not um, the wheatgrass or the oil pulling would be able to cure a cavity. Would you be able to cure a cavity with wheatgrass um, gargling? And it's a very complicated question, so I didn't want to um, overlook that question because it's very, very um, important to answer that question. Um, so what I have figured out through um, my experience and along with the research is there are other steps that have to be taken in order to reverse the signs of tooth decay, okay? So you can reverse the signs of tooth decay if, let's say, you go to the dentist and the dentist tells you, well, hey, you've got a cavity or you have something that may turn into a cavity. There are ways that these things can be reversed. Okay, so I'm going to go over in this video um, four important steps that should be taken if you indeed are trying to accomplish that task. Um, okay. So step number one, you want to remove any um, all sugars from your diet which is like very difficult to do um, so remove um, sugar from your diet or try to cut down as much as possible um, and this is along with you know daily brushing your teeth twice or three times a day and flossing so you want to try to eliminate all the sugars because sugars are the enemy when it comes to tooth decay as we all know. You also want to significantly reduce if not eliminate um, something called phytic acid from your diet. And um, phytic acid is found in grains um, and beans and nuts and seeds okay and what phytic acid has been shown to do is it blocks the absorption of minerals so it prevents your body from absorbing these essential minerals that are needed in order to strengthen your teeth so it is very difficult so I'm not gonna Tell you to just eliminate it because I know it's a very hard task to do so try to significantly cut out phytic acid from your diet the next step to eliminating tooth decay and reversing the tooth decay is to add a lot of dairy rich products to your diet Okay, so me personally, I um, I don't want to say I'm a vegan, but I try to eliminate too much um, meats and um, dairy from my diet, so it's been very difficult for me, 
and so I can identify, you know, that as being a shortcoming as to when it comes to, you know, making sure your teeth are healthy because it's even more difficult um, for me. So, um, what I've been doing is adding supplements to my diet. So, the first one I have is a calcium um, supplement, which, you know, is taking the place of milk because I haven't been drinking any um, cow's milk. Um, so, I've been doing a calcium um, tab. This is a calcium tablet, and I like this one. It's by Rainbow Light, and it also has in it um, magnesium and vitamin D3, which is very important if you are trying to reverse the signs of reverse, you know, tooth decay. So calcium is beneficial. So is magnesium and vitamin D. And which is contained in this one um, tablet so that's pretty beneficial um, I've been doing a lot of the you know been consuming a lot of fish um, so I'm not really lacking in that um, aspect however I still do a um, an omega-3 tablet and this is the one I take the super GLA been very beneficial because it has um, has evening primrose seed oil, black currant, and um, borage seed oil. So I like that combination. It's been working very beneficial to me. Um, it's not necessarily that it has to be those specific um, combination items, but you know, there's other fish oils is another um, great one. Um, to take if you are trying to reverse, you know, the signs of the cavities or the um, reverse, you know, tooth decay. Okay. Um, so those are the. I'm trying to look to see what else I take. Um, so those are the things I take in place of, you know, drinking a lot of milk and cheese and things like that. It is also important to eat a lot of leafy greens and um, what I've been doing is also supplementing with um, an alfalfa, um, alfalfa supplement, alfalfa taps, but I do also, I do a lot of juicing so I drink a lot of green juice and I do eat a lot of um, greens as well. Um, the next thing that you want to do is to um, use a mineralized um, toothpaste, which I have here. And you can make your own. I just decided I wanted to purchase one. And this is an example of a mineralized toothpaste. Um, this one was pretty good. Um, it has in it, um, let's see, um, it has in it um, bentonite clay, which is good for your teeth. Um, it has the calcium, it has colloidal silver water in there. Um, it has also ionic minerals, um, it has peppermint. This in clothes. Um, so it is important, and you can make your own. Um, I've been experimenting with making my own, but for now I decided I was going to just purchase one, and this has been working very well for me um, because it has, you know, the calcium in there. So you're really um, remineralizing your teeth by having something that has the calcium in there and the bentonite clay and you know the essential minerals are in there um, so that um, is very beneficial for you know your, your teeth health um, and then you have the other 
um, thing that's beneficial is the oil pulling or the um, wheatgrass gargling. So that was very, um, I try to be very descriptive on the steps that you should be taking because um, when I initially did the video on, you know, the um, oil pulling and the wheatgrass gargling, I didn't want to give anyone the misconception that that in and of itself would be the only thing you needed to do in order to reverse the signs of the cavity or reverse um, tooth decay. So, um, I hope this was beneficial to someone. Um, I've been taking these um, steps to, and actually, to be honest with you, I have been using this combination for quite some time, um, a couple of years, and I did not realize that what that those supplements I was taking along with the um, with the oil pulling was actually so beneficial to my teeth. I started taking those things because um, I had an herbalist who recommended those supplements to me. Um, say two, three years, three years ago now, and I just um, I started researching recently um, how to reverse the signs of um, reverse tooth decay, and I real I had the little haha moment like. I've been taking all I've been doing all these things all along so I wanted to share with everyone and I, and, um, I wanted everyone to also have that haha -ha moment um, and I wanted also wanted to answer the question that I received previously so thank you for watching my video I hope that was beneficial in some way to someone Thank you. If you enjoyed the video, please thumbs it up. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, thank you and have a very great and wonderful day.